I'm gonna be taking a break from Hydra for a bit so that I can figure out how to complete the new diaries, the Zaya diaries. Because the rewards are super nice, I'm gonna be doing Hydra probably for a while. So it would be really smart to actually unlock some of these rewards that will help me in the Hydra grind. So some of the rewards I'm looking for is the Unlimited Teleports to Mount Corum, which will allow me to get to Hydra faster when I bank and stuff. Also, I get two more Slayer Points per task from Konar, since I'm going to be doing Konar since she's the only one that can give Hydra, so it would be nice mix skipping and stuff a little bit more viable. Also, I get protection from the burn effects in the dungeon where Hydra is, and I don't have to wear the Boots of Stone and any of the equivalents, so I can just wear Pegasians, which is nice, so I can kill Hydra a bit faster too. Another really cool addition is the 10% more Blood Runes when doing Blood Rune Crafting. So I cannot complete the diary yet because there's one task that's in the way and that task is to create your own battle staff from scratch in the farming guild. In order to actually do this task, I need to get one of the new seeds called the Celestra Seed or Kelextra Seed. And I need to plant it and grow it and then I can get these like branches from it which I can turn into a battle staff. So the seed is new and we don't really know the fastest way to get it. I do know some places that you know people have reported that they got it from such as from bird's nest the sea ones and i've heard a lot of people getting it from farming contracts so i'm definitely going to try those out so those are going to be my two main methods for now so my first strategy is to collect the bird's nest from kingdom because i used to do this a lot getting bird's nest from the kingdom so i know exactly the potential of it now i haven't done it in a long time so yeah as you can see I have like freaking no more money but my workers should have used a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and put some money in there you know two mil should be okay but right now my main goal obviously is, is to get burst nest so I'm gonna put everything I got into the wood section and the hardwood section because both of those can give you burst nest as a byproduct so now I should be able to get burst nest or the most of what I could get out of the time and I ended up getting 220 that's actually really good. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, so hopefully it's not the most rare thing and out of the 220, I can get the Celestra Seed. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Oh shit, we just got our first seed. Dragon Fruit Tree Seed though, damn. That's not a Celestra Seed, but um, I think this one is a new Fruit Tree Seed. And what it does is the fruit, you can make a new potion which can recharge any of your Dragon Shields. You know, like a giant fire shield or something in one go. So that's kind of interesting. <gasps> Dragon fruit tree. Oh, come on, two. Dang. <clears throat> oh, man. Seriously. Okay, okay. I was really hoping to get the seed in all of these burst nests, but I guess not. We're going to have to try something else. Another quick way to get burst nests I have in mind is birdhouses. I've heard people get it from there too, so let's check it out. Well, this is rather disappointing because, yeah, they did nerf how many bird nests you can get from bird houses. And uh, from this one run, I only managed to get, I think, two or three bird nests with seeds, so it's not looking too good. Alright, so plan B, I'm going to have to go ahead and do some farming contracts. So in the farming guild, first time here by the way, and it looks really nice. Uh, so plan B, get a farm contract from a Guildmaster Jane. I don't know where she is yet. I'm looking around, but uh, so I read up the dev blog and I kind of know what patches are here. But honestly, now you look at it in real game and not the Reddix, it is a lot. There's so many freaking patches in one place. It's actually kind of cool, you know, and it doesn't feel too private server because of the way that the farming guild is designed so it's actually quite fitting oh there it is the celestrus patch so i'm gonna have to grow one of these here um over here it's like wow that's definitely the redwood one that that is definitely ginormous here but where is she man i'm trying to find the guild master uh maybe she's by the entrance you know if if i were to place a guild master i think there it is guild master chain okay we found her uh, you always need to rotate the crops from growing to stop the soil from tiring due to lack of nutrients. It'd be great if you help out with that. Okay. If you're interested, I can give you farming contract. There we go. We found it. Awesome. Okay, Miss Shane. Hook me up. Complete the contract. Give you some seeds. Yay. Hit me up.
Okay, what we got? What kind of contract? Uh, dude, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do all of them. We'll start with the 85 one, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is the point? Oh my god, why? I'm looking for the Keller stress. Oh, jeez. Do you have anything easier? Oh, oh my god, at the very least, I think I can uh, maybe swap it. I suppose I give you a different contract if you're sure. Yeah, I can't even do this contract. Snapdragon. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Alright, at the very least, I can be assigned something different. That's good. I thought it was, uh, you can get all three tiers at once, but yeah, it's just one at a time, it seems. So yeah, let's, uh, do some contracts. It's gonna take some time, then, to get this diary done. So, I'm taking this new redesign of the equipment setup here. So, instead of showing you inventory, it's only showing you the possible items that you could be involving with farming, and they're always gonna be in the same spot, so that's really nice. Alright, completed my first contract. Hopefully I can do a high level one if it doesn't work out. So, uh, what do we get? Oh, just a seat box. Cool. Check it out. Let's open it. White berries. Eretz. Cactus. Eretz again. Wow. Jeez, so much white berries. So I've been told that the first uh, two to three seeds that you get from a contract are the high level seed rolls. So if you don't get the Celestris in like your first three seeds from the box, it's too, it's over, man. That box isn't going to give you another one. So yeah, that sucks. After doing farming contracts for a bit, looking for the seed, I realized these contracts are insanely rewarding because if you plant like you've normally been planting and it just happens to be a contract you get your normal crops and you also get the seed boss which gives you so many seeds like sometimes you can get like seven ten arid seeds and you know like those are really good you get them so fast uh it's insane especially for iron accounts and also for anybody that was struggling getting supplies for farming like if you aren't doing these contracts basically you're missing out on a lot of free xp it's it's actually ridiculous how much seeds you get per contract the seed, a dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, I'm getting really lucky at dragon fruits. What if they're the same rates? I I don't know. I doubt it though. But damn, don't I wish that was part of the diaries instead? All right, let's get the stir crate. It's medium though, so I doubt I can get the calyxtrus. Oh, snake grass. So these snake grass seeds are hella nice because I don't actually have to pick up snake grass anymore for my prayer pots. Instead I can farm it. So I'm assuming if the yield is like any typical element, which is like a ton per patch, this is going to be super nice, dude. Oh baby, can't wait to start farming these. I need prayer pots anyways. I was hoping I would get the seed today because then I could bang out the diaries right before Hydro Task. But it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that, so I guess I'm just going to, you know, do Hydra and also look for Celestra Seed on the side. <gasps> oh my god, I got a Hydra Leather! Oh, what? Oh, yes, baby. Oh, that's what I really want. And this time for sure, I know it's not like a ring piece or anything. I'm pretty damn sure this is for the Ferocious Glove, so... That is the best in-slot melee gloves in the game, surpassing even that of the Barrows gloves. So what we got left for important drops that I need. So I still need the Hydra's Heart for the Brimstone Ring, the Hydra's Claw for the Dragon Hunter Lance, and also the Pet because, you know, after seeing that Pet, I know I want it. So a few more things to get. Uh, I think this is the one. This has to be the correct one, eh? Use the leather on this. You sure it won't make ferocious gloves? This will make them untradeable. Okay, let's go. Nice. By feeding the tough to work leather through the machine, you managed to form a pair of gloves. Oh, the ferocious gloves, boys. Alright, I'm going to take this off real quick, you know. We'll have a little uh, demo here. So this is the Barrel Scuffs, you can tell. It's tribrid stats, really nice, 12 everything. Magic 6. 
no negative stats. And here's the ferocious gloves. Negative stats on magic and range, so that's a no-no if you want to use it for range and magic. But look at this. Melee stats. Phenomenal. 16 everything. That's four more than barrels. And uh, also the strength bonus is two more, so really nice. Have some new situations that I can use it at. Uh, definitely for Slayer, for for sure, but uh, there are some bosses though. I had a lot of people expressing their concern that this new glove is going to like basically replace Barrel's Gloves, but as you can see, it does not. Barrel's Gloves is still number one best in slot for range, and it also is best in slot for tri -breeding. So a lot of situations requires you to be... Uh, using multiple styles besides just melee. So Barrel's Gloves is pretty much still going to be overall the best gloves in the game. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Also, this thing has a pretty hefty requirement. You need Translator 2 in order to even use it. So you're still going to have to quest if you want to use this glove. So these farming contracts are pretty fun to do while I'm looking for the uh, Celestial Seed. So I got a Snapegrass one. First time planting this new bad boys here. And uh, so far, I've um, look at that. This patch, I got 29 Snapegrass. Wow, that's actually really good. So I'm assuming it's kind of like watermelon type of rates, how much you get from it. So that's actually really good. I'm definitely going to do this more for Snapegrass instead of picking it up. Okay, let's get this contract here. Best of luck. Hispori Seed. Dragonfruit Seed again. That's my fourth one. Come on. There are tons of ways to get the Celestial Seed, and one of them is to get it from a Hispori plant. And I couldn't do it before because I didn't have a seed, but now I do. So I'm going to grow it and harvest it. It takes about 32 hours, I believe, to actually grow, so it's going to be a while. But chances are I might not get a Celestial Seed, so it's worth uh, trying out every possible way. But the Hispori plant is actually interesting because it's actually a boss. And if you kill it, there's a chance it can drop this unique item called the Buttonless Bucket. The bottomless bucket is really good for farming because every compost you put into it, you get an extra use out. So you're effectively doubling how much compost you have. And it works up to ultra compost. <clears throat> so it's a bit on the rough side. Oh, oh, really? I got another Hydra's Tail. Shit. This kill felt exceptionally fast. And it's 128. Nice. Not bad, not bad. It's like a few second PB. I'll definitely take that. It's probably a hella fast time. Oh, new personal best by one second. Ha! So while I was doing birdhouse runs to get a celestial seed, I instead got a red root tree seed. And I bet you it's probably like the rarest seed possible in the entire game just because it requires level 90 farming to grow. So yeah, it's probably maybe even more rare than celestial seed. If I grow one myself, I can actually just AFK there and we'll cut there, right? Or something like that. Just just a cool thought, but Man, that's insane, dude. That's insane. So I had some bird's eggs in my bank, and I totally remember that you can actually cash them in at the bird shrine in the Woodcutting Guild. Every one you convert, you get one bird's nest with seeds. So I think those can probably give you the new Celestial Seeds too, but unfortunately I didn't get anything. But try again, I guess, if I have any more. This is going to be the last kill of the second Hydra Task that I got. And uh, so far, I've gotten some good amount of drops, but the main important drop that I'm looking for, the Hydra Claw, is not yet obtained. And uh, I'm not really sick of Hydra yet, in terms of, you know, just doing it again immediately. So I'm going to go for a third task, and hopefully I'll get a Hydra Claw by then. We're at 444kc right now. Oh, please, come on, UC, come on. It's Dragon Fruit again, bro, come on. Pretty sure it's ready. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was told to bring some range gear for this fight, so I don't think it matters too much, right? I, I I highly doubt it's a challenging boss. So, you know, when you're in doubt, blow pipe or whip. So, yes, yes. Okay. Holy shit. Post commentary. His warrior boss. Not too hard at all. Even for a mid level player, as long as you bring a good amount of food with a strong melee weapon like a whip or range, I guess, like a blowpipe, you are all, all set. I really don't know how to fight this. Oh, now it's hitting me harder. Okay, so you definitely should be bringing some food. Alright, I killed it. Okay, so what happens now? Personal best. Alright, oh, they even have a timer for this, Claire. I hope I get some good seeds. 
So this is the only place to get the new anima seeds which has worldwide effects upon planting them. So I got the Iaso one. The Iaso seed I would say is probably the second best anima seed because this one makes it so that your chances of your plants getting disease is reduced. So that's really nice if I'm not having any payments for a certain plant. The best one would be Addis though because it increases your overall yield. Kind of like Magic Secateurs. So it is actually really hard to get the Celestra seed. I might just be unlucky because I've done so many birdhouses, so many contracts throughout these past four to five days. And yeah, exhausted my kingdom of seeds and I haven't gotten it. But fortunately for me, there is one other way that I haven't tried yet to get the Celestra seed from. And that way is through the giant mole. So this is a bit of a weird uh, situation. So I'm going to try my best to explain it, but it's really interesting for sure. At the time of recording this clip, the burst nest that you get from the giant mole cannot give you the new seeds, even though it's supposed to. Jagger's fucked up the coding a bit there. So you have to wait until Thursday for them to fix it. However, there is actually a way you can still get the new bird's nest from the giant mole, which will include obviously the new seeds like Celestris. And here's why. So the glitch that does not allow the giant mole burst nest to give you the new seeds only occurs when you trade in a lot of mole parts to Wizen and Gardener. So for example, if I were to trade in a hundred mole parts to Wizen the Gardener at once, noted, he will give me this box that will contain a hundred burst nests. So in any instances where I get a box worth of burst nests from Wizen, those seeds are glitched and they're the old ones, they won't give you the new seeds. However, if I were to trade Wizen and Gardener, say 28 uh, mole parts or less, he's not going to give me a box, he's just going to give me actual burst nests in my inventory. The ones that I get that are physical, not from the box, they actually are the new burst nests with the new seeds. So the trick is, until they fix it, do not trade in the mole parts in any quantity over 28 because he's going to give you a box and you're going to be screwed with the old bird's nest. It was a weird situation for me because I thought Jagex intended the giant mole to not give you the new seeds from the bird's nest. So I felt a little bit scared because I was like, wait, I'm kind of abusing a bug, am I not? But it turns out they just fucked up and, you know, it's it's okay. But by the time you guys watch this video, it's already going to be fixed and you guys can just, you know, do giant mole for the bird's nest. Whether it's in the box or not, it's always going to give you the new seed, so you guys are chilling. Alright guys, this is the last conversion. I'm honestly really tempted to try to do more mole and convert more bird's nest. I guess if I don't get it within all 650, that's a big yuck if I don't. But if I don't, I'll probably try to do some more mole. So yeah, let's do it. Oh, I got it! <laughs> that was so fucking easy! What the hell? Oh my god, are you serious? Seriously, I converted all of these. Oh my god. Oh, I actually got it. I was like, this seat doesn't look the same as all the other ones I've gotten. Wow, I'll be right back. Holy shit. I hate talking about long-term plans for RNG things because then this is what happens, you know? It just... I say all that stuff and then boom, you just get to see. I guess that's the trick. Oh man, finally, man. I can actually work on the diaries. Awesome, I'm gonna get that done. So this is actually insane because I pretty much opened up all the bird's nests from the 650 and I only managed to get one Celestra seed. And that doesn't even include the 200 plus I did from Kingdom and like probably another 100 from bird houses and stuff altogether. So yeah, I probably did like 900 birds nests and I didn't get more than one. If I were to guess, it's probably like a 1 in 500 rate or something. Don't quote me on it, just from personal experience. Let me know if you guys uh, have tested it, you know, how, how long it took you guys to get the Celestris. Because I'm really curious since we don't know the rates. But I'm just hella glad I'm done with this. Finally.